When it comes to solving crime, DNA is all the rage. But some researchers want to give new life to an old method of testing evidence, telling CBS News, What we're hoping is that we'll be able to get fingerprints that current powders can't get. Fingerprinting is still performed by investigators when trying to figure out who done it. But the evidence can be fragile. And since fingerprints are mostly water and oils, they can evaporate. That's where these chemistry students step in. We should be able to get fingerprints that maybe someone's washed their hands more recently and they've touched something, but they've left less residue behind. But we're going to be able to get that using a more sensitive powder. They say they're experimenting with fluorescent nanoparticles that are finer than powder typically used in fingerprinting. With a nanoparticle, we have very small particles, very small pixels, so you can get very fine detail, a very high fidelity image. They're hoping their work helps crack open some cold cases and brings some long-awaited justice. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Montalbano.